So welcome to Canon Expo 2015. This is the CMOS sensor uh, booth. On the right side here, we have a CMOS sensor that's dedicated to resolution, to have increased uh, very high resolution, 250 megapixel sensor. The resolution uh, you can achieve allows you to um, basically be maybe 20 kilometers away from a building and be able to read text on that building or on the plane that's flying. So it, it gives you incredible amount of detail, but it is stretching the limits of what we can do today. So on the booth here, what we have for the, this very high resolution uh, sensor, 250 megapixel, we have developed uh, a little box that we use it, we use it for our own use, okay, to capture uh, basically the video we want to, uh, to capture. Uh, here it captures in raw f format, data in raw format, and it outputs in raw format to a uh, recording drive, hard disk drive for example, very high capacity. Then later on you can do some processing uh, for use, use of the data. But right now there is no real time, uh, it's difficult to manage this data real time, this is why this is really only a prototype at this stage. Of course, we cannot achieve 30 frames per second. Already 250 megapixel is a lot. So we're more targeting five frames per second. This is what we're able to achieve. You can use for video, but it's a low frame rate. Some applications do not require a higher frame rate than that. For example, some security applications may not require. The format of this sensor for this prototype is APS-H format. So it's a little smaller than uh, the 30, standard 35 millimeter format. We use it with, with EF lenses. And act, actually, you can see here that the box is actually fitted to uh, EF lenses. And we use standard uh, EF lenses, absolutely. Now, what we need to improve because of this increased very, very high resolution, we are pushing the limits of the lenses. And so we need to improve our lenses to be able to handle the incredible detail that is given by those sensors. Uh, we need to develop special algorithm to remove all special effects from uh, the, temp the variation of temperature in the atmosphere, showing a little bit of turbulence in the image. And we are working on that. I think it's very hard today to say when it comes to market. The challenge of uh, this type of high resolution sensor is that it generates huge amounts of data. And this huge amount of data requires a lot of storage, a lot of transmission technologies, compression, storage, management of, of the whole workflow that are very complex. So when that will be mature enough for the market, at this stage we cannot say anything.